Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to do a review of the NASB Large Print Ultra Thin Reference Bible. It is item number 1573. It is in the calfskin leather. I want to start out by saying this is a review copy given to me for an honest review, and that's what I'll give you. Um, unbiased. Um, I'm just going to give it to you in an honest opinion. As if NASB were my favorite. That's how I try to do all reviews. Um, obviously, anybody that watches my channel knows that I'm a KJV fan. A big fan of KJV, um, as well as NKJV. Um, that's why I'm not so much critical text, because I know NKJV has done the same thing NASB, even though NASB did it first and did the capital uh, pronouns, cap capitalization of pronouns pertaining to deity. And ASB did do that first, and the KJV did it in 1982. Um, NASB released their full Bible in 1977. Um, and then the New Testament and Old Testament's different times. Like, uh, but the full one was 1977. Um, the reason why... I don't use like an NASB over NKJVs just because I prefer the TRs. It's just personal preference. Um, and the reason for it is um, a, a lot of the NAS, NASB, the way they render things in their translation is the same as the NKJV. Um, for instance, I'm in Nehemiah 3 right now, and Nehemiah 3.13, and, and the uh, KJV, as well as uh, most of the critical text, um, NIV, uh, ESV, CSB, they render it the same as the KJV renders it. This is just an example, but there's many, many words and uh, examples of uh, NASB and NKJV rendering words the same way. Um, it's just all preference. Um, for instance, uh, like it says, see here in 313, now, this is a Cambridge cameo. It reads Dung Gate. Um, pretty straightforward what that means, Dung Gate. Um, also, the KJV will use Dung Hill. I feel like your house will be, and then other ones will say Refuse Pile. You know, something along those lines. Um, refuse, if you look it up, has to do with trash and stuff. Um, I, we know that they're using it as refuse and as in uh, human uh, defecation or animal defecation, but dung get the point across in my my opinion. We all know what dung is. Um, again, that's just personal preference. So, I mean, back to this Bible. It's an amazing Bible, guys. If you're an NASB user, uh, a fan, um, definitely this Bible is worth the 107. Many people have uh, degraded the, this this Bible and said, "Well, the paper's inferior. Um, it's China," um, but. The truth is, Lockman is going to be the only one that offers you a, a premium Bible for $110 or less. This is 107 right now on Amazon. Uh, the description in the description below will be the link to uh, the to buy this on Amazon. Again, it's 107 and some change right now. I've seen it as low as 90, 80, 90 dollars. Um, so keep checking that if you want to try to get it cheaper. Um, they are updating in 2020. Um, next year, but they will not um, do away with the translation completely of 95. 95 will still be available for sale, and that is evident in the fact that if you go to Amazon and type in NASB Premier, Zondervan is coming out with a premiere in 2020, January 28th, I do believe. It's January something um, of 2020, and it's going to be the NIV 95, or I'm sorry, excuse me, Zondervan and IV goes together, obviously. Zondervan NASB 95. So here's the spine. NASB Foundation Publications, References, and New American Standard Bible, uh, updated edition, Holy Bible, five raised hubs. Very well done. There is not any perimeter stitching. is not perimeter stitched. It is glued. Uh, the cover is glued over on itself right here. Um, not horrible, uh, not perfect, but not horrible. For 107, it's, it's still okay. I mean, it's... Uh, Nice, supple, perfect cover. Always takes its form back. Um, one thing you'll notice right off the bat that is different. Um, I'll just use this cameo because it's small. Um, the page that is edge line here, those pages are always glued together, um, depending uh, the 
Premier Series about here. I've seen LCBP in the past up and through here. Um, this one is just solid. Um, they have the two papers glued all the way together, um, clear to the top. And some people don't like that. I see two pluses to that. One would be that this being that floppy, um, if you see, um, this is comparable to a MKJV uh, Premier in size. It's an eighth of an inch thicker. Um, I don't have my measure, uh, my measuring tape here to measure this for you, um, but it is the exact same footprint aside from being a roughly an eighth of an inch uh, less in width of the text block and an eighth of an inch thicker for the NASB. Um, with the cover, the generous yap on the Premier, they do measure roughly the same size. Actually, they are the exact same size with this cover and this cover are together, but the text block is shorter and a little, an eighth of an inch, roughly an eighth of an inch thicker on this uh, Premier. Um, what I wanted to show you was the tabbing. Um, obviously, this is goat skin. Look how floppy that is. It's really nice, but it's floppy. So if you're reading it in hand, that's where this comes in handy. This stiff paper here <clears throat> and being glued all the way to the tip because you can hold this in one hand. Pretty nice. It doesn't flop horribly bad over your hands. See? So that's one plus side. And the other plus side to me is people aren't going to be tempted to grab it and rip it apart because I know people that are not Bible aficionados that thought that was an accident being glued. So no room for error there. Um, you'll get like three of these card stocks here and then it goes into the presentation. The presentation pages are rather glossy. Um, you can actually see how glossy that is in the light. Catch it here. It's just as glossy as Crossway. See, there you go. The light hitting that off of the light bulbs. It's really glossy. I'd like to see them do a matte finish in the in the uh, future. I'd also like to see them upgrade the ribbons a little bit. Um, the ribbons are not any worse than Cambridge, though, or uh, Westminster, the TBS Westminster. Very comparable. Uh, same with the uh, Cambridge. This Cambridge is actually pretty a little bit nicer, honestly, for ribbons. Cambridge does a really good job, but it's also price reflect. 163 Bible. $3 Bible. So here's the uh, title page of the Holy Bible. Here's a copyright if you want to pause that. And if you want to pause it here, go for it. And you can get a little bit of information on their copyrights. Um, here's the forward for the NASB and the fourfold aim of Lachman. Just amazing. Um, let's go ahead and read that real fast. These publications shall be true to the original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. They shall be grammatically correct. They shall be understandable. They shall give the Lord Jesus Christ his proper place, the place with which the place which the word gives him. Therefore, no work will ever be personalized. This is a great, great, great translation, guys. Again, don't let the fact that I prefer the TR um, affect your decision. This is well worth $107. I would buy it. I used to have an Allen uh, NASB readers, and I traded it for ESV. If I had to pick a critical text as my favorite, um, it would probably be, honestly, I've said in the past, I can't get into the ESV, but it would probably be the ESV just because, of, again, it's got a lot of the pros, uh, uh, the poetry, prose, it's just like the uh, KJV, um, flows a little bit more like the KJV. Uh, a lot of people find that Yoda-ish, like Yoda speak, but I don't mind it. This is not wooden in any any way, shape, or form. Um, they should explain why they didn't put thy, thee, and thou in there. Um, I prefer those. Um, again, a little bit of bias there. I try not to be biased in my <clears throat> uh, reviews. Um, there's no room for bias there. Again, I'm not knocking this translation is amazing. Just personally, I would pick ESV over NASV um, just because I know I'm a TR guy and I have a TR on hand. So the verses that people, some people say are missing or omitted, um, there's a big ordeal about that. I don't want to get into that, but I don't feel they're uh, uh, missing. Um, I love the NIV. Uh, that would be my more paraphrase or um, my CT. My CT choice would be the NIV, honestly, um, because it's, if I'm going to go 
CT, I'm going to go uh, more paraphrase CT, uh, dynamic, so to speak. That way I could have um, a less literal and a CT at the same time. Whereas with TR, obviously, you just got literal. You got NKJV, KJV, MEV, I, I guess you could use, but I just, I've never really cared for that translation. I don't know why. It's, it's a TR too. It's a TR as well, but if you use it, use it. The best translation is the one you're going to use, but here is Genesis. Genesis is absolutely, uh, as you can see, it, the ghosting is not that bad. It's absolutely readable. Um, it's worse on camera, so obviously the white space you're going to see some ghosting, but it's not line match. It is not line match. That's one thing I'd like to see them do. I'd like to see them perimeter stitch, line match, ribbons, and then the maps on matte finished paper. Uh, cut down the uh, presentation pages a little bit. And I think you'd have an amazing Bible. This is a not only for a new, this review, this Bible is not just for those who have not had an NASB and are looking to get a, a, a high in, in NASB. It's also for those that have a high in, in NASB. If you have an Allen NASB, why would you not want this? Because it's the same layout. And guess what? You're going to beat this up. You're not going to be scared to uh, throw it around, beat it up a little bit and use it rigorously instead of babying it um as you'll notice here this is verse by verse and the reason why they do the dark is that's a new beginning of a new paragraph um 20 22 so that's a really cool feature uh the center column real quick touch bases is uh wider than most center columns i do dig that and most people with that like the readers and that's why they like it is because it's a wider center column um Again, that's going to reflect the price. The paper on that's amazing, but it's Cambridge. Um, and it's not line matched either. There are not many KJV line matched, honestly. Um, here's the Westminster. Uh, it is line matched. Just as I say that, I remember the Westminster is line matched. There's a couple of spots. It gets a little, um, it's a little crazy, but for the most part, it's line matched. The uh, NIV Premier is not line matched. Um, so keep that in mind as well. I do, again, prefer the NIV and critical text, but this and literal, if you're an NASB person, you cannot go wrong with this Bible. This Bible is for you, made for you by Lockman. Um, there's, it's just an amazing Bible. It has a little bit of a bluish tint to the, to the paper. That's not bothersome. Again, the ghosting is not as bad as some people let on. I can read this for hours. I actually read it all day yesterday. I use these Bibles. I don't just do a Bible review and base it on what I've, other people have said or whatnot, because most people would say that this ghosting's bad. I don't find it horrible at all. There's a lot worse Bibles you can have for ghosting. This is an amazing deal for 107. Uh, again, if you have a high end, buy it. If you don't have a high end, definitely buy it. Um, this will not let you down. This Bible is amazing. Um, I just don't know. I mean, I would really recommend everybody have it in it. You know what I mean? Use multiple translations. Don't just go with one translation. I don't just use the KJV, uh, the NKJV. I cross-reference. I cross. I use, you know, textual criticism, so to speak, and all the English translations. I go and see what they all have to say on certain verses. You'll You'll know once you read it, especially if you avidly read the Bible, you'll get to where you'll recognize certain verses will differ and you'll be like, wait a minute. You'll go and you'll look on a, the best things app, U version or whatnot to go like parallel and read the different renditions of and, and versions of a certain verse. Um, and you'll find your preference. That's what it's about, guys. Finding the one you're going to use the most. Um, for me, that's the KJV. For you, it could be the NASB. The NASB is an amazing translation. It's literal. Um, it's been dubbed most literal translation in English. Um, I can see why. It's not wooden. I don't find it wooden. This is a black letter text. Um, it is 10 point font as well. This font's 10 points and it is a black letter text. There's no red letters and I like that because a lot of times you get either a messed up contrast or um, some inconsistencies in ink on different pages. Um, the only Bible I've ever had that doesn't have that issue is this one right here. And that is the, uh, clear, the Cambridge Cameo. Um, it just not many people do the uh, 
red letter like Cambridge does it. If anybody knows anything about Cambridge, you can see there, not doesn't get much better than that. Um, for contrast, Skylar does a really good job, but again, to me, it gets inconsistent. So they did a really good job, Lockman, and most NASBs I know of are black letter. I have not seen a red letter. Um, I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure many people have had them, but to me, I've just never seen one. Here's a concordance. The concordance is fairly well done. I would call that a seven point um, here, and then the mold, and then the smaller one, probably six and a half. Um, very small print, but it's extensive. It's 66 pages <clears throat> and a small print. So you get a lot of information in here. So it's very useful, the concordance. Um, here's the maps. Again, on the glossy, I prefer matte finish, um, but just an idea of comparison here. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, they did really good on the colors. This is more of my speed. This is a matte finish here. Same map, just done differently. And uh, we look at Zondervan's uh, maps here, just for comparison. There they are. And these probably are more comparable, to, even more so to the Cambridge than, but they still have the divisions like Lockman does rather than uh, just kind of leave it just as a map and then they divide up the territories or whatnot. Um, Cambridge does a really good job at their maps. And they have that map index that's color coded for cities, waters, and all that kind of stuff. That's really nice. So $107, that's a, that, that Bible there is $163.99 guys. So again, I'm giving you an honest review. Again, I, I'm not a fan of the glossy paper. Some people don't mind it. Um, but that's not what the Bible is about. The Bible is what you're after right here, the text. And this text is superior um, to what you're going to get at Walmart or whatnot. So if you're looking for an NASB, they don't have a lot of options. This is the route to go, um, especially if it's either way. If it's your favorite, it's the way to go. Because if you it's your favorite, most likely you've got a high end. And if you don't have a high end yet and you want something that's gonna last a while, then this is the way to go, 107. Instead of spending 175 on an Allen that you're gonna be afraid to abuse, and then you should get this, and same with the people that have the Allens. If you want one you could abuse, why not get the same layout as your Allen that you love so much? So again, this is a win-win for either side of the camp, people that don't have a premium yet, and the people that already have a premium. This is the perfect Bible. Um, People that are, this isn't the favorite translation, if this is not your favorite translation, but you want an NASB, again, a definite must have because it's gonna to add to your collection and you're gonna have the NASB for reference and it's a nice NASB. It's not like it's really horrible. And then you don't have the high end that's just gonna be sitting on the shelf like at 175 because you're gonna to go to 175 and up for a, a high end. Uh, Skylar's 200, um, Allen uh, 220, depending on what one you get. I think 220 for the Credo. Uh, thin line NASB and then um, Allen's 175. But that's about all I can say about this. The center column again is wider and it is beautifully done. It's a beautifully beautiful layout. Um, I've touched all the bases that I can think of. Um, ghosting, not perimeter stitched. It is edge lined. It is Smith sewn. Um, I will usually show that in all my videos, so I'll do that real quick. Show you that with a map section. Um, you can also see that in this section of the the. Uh, presentation pages because there's so many of them um, but I always show you in the maps so here's the maps and here's that Smithstone binding another thing I want to touch base on is that Smithstone binding because in the beginning they don't have the Smithstone binding done just like um, some will uh, so be careful with this obviously not many people are going to sit there and pull on that but just be uh, aware that at the beginning that's like that um, not so much in the text obviously see you're fine in the text it's just at the beginning there great Bible can't say enough about it here's the back um, give you the the uh, ISBN number again it will be down in the description below to buy it on Amazon I highly recommend this Bible guys this guy this, this I, I can't say enough uh, great about it. I mean, we could sit there and pick out cons in all Bibles, even high-end Bibles. Um, them high-end Allens, you can find things wrong. Like one, they should be line matched. You'd think they'd be line matched for $175, but they're not. This isn't either. But for a 107, 
no complaints. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and God bless.